watching Jenny Jones here a while back, and they were saying homosexuality is not a choice. Sissy, that is not the point. Well, it seems like it would be the point in this, for instance. The point is, Mama is missing. Where in the world do you suppose she could be? <gasps> Hello, Betsy. Mrs. Ingram? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah, right. If I didn't eat for a month, I still wouldn't look like that. Oh, God, you saw me pinch that flap. Yeah, you're real tough. Hey, you pull hard enough, everybody has a little flap. So, you auditioning? Maybe, I'm not sure yet. Well, I think you should. Might be fun if we both get cast. Oh. Our appointment with Dr. Bollinger is in less than two hours. You don't think she went on without us, do you? I know I would. We seek the light of truth between our white lights and sleep away our year under tattletale skies. In it a bitch, Mama. by God law around here. Okay. So how about you bring those pretty, pouty red lips over here, drop to your knees, and take me to heaven and back? Because I prefer something larger than a toothpick in my mouth. Too bad she kicked the bucket. What? She died. Croaked. About to take a dirt nap. You're lying to me. I am not. Old Tammy's dropped below room temperature. That was the late, great Tammy Winnett, dead at age 55. Oh, no, she can't be dead. Not my Tammy, no. How will I hold up? Oh, Tammy, no, not dead, no, no, not, not precious, precious, precious Tammy. <laughs> oh, God. How did I get to here? You doing this? This is medicine cabinet. I had a headache. Hey, what's the matter? I am a liar. I lie to my family. I lie to Sarah. Today, I pretended to be straight with my best friend Mark. Well, he bashed bags again. I wanted to blurt out, I am who you're bashing. And some guy I hooked up with once called me a <sighs> closeted fag hating fag. I think he's right. Get used to be this dark place, Jacob. 
This place I had to go to secretly. And after I went there, I'd just be filled with shame and regret. Hating that part of me. I'll be right back. Oh my god! Oh, you were too much. When is the other shoe gonna drop with you? Never. Okay, I know where you were last night, Mama. I was driving all over worried sick looking for you, and I found you at that bar at Bubba's. And I saw you dancing, if you could call it that, with that ingrate GW nether guy. Now you listen to me, you little pill popping bitch. I'll keep your secret and you keep mine. Understand? Do we have an agreement, Charlie So? I can't tell you how sorry I am. I'm not the same person that I once was, so if, if, if you can just give me a chance, I believe that we could be friends now. Friends? Just get out of here! I never want to see your face again! Babies, my babies. Nobody in winters, maybe the entire state of Texas has violets this pretty. You mean had? Selfish, inconsiderate goat. Just thought about himself and nobody else. Just like GW. <laughs> Here's one still has its roots. Maybe I can save it. Well, what in the world? Oh, 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 oh. That goat has ate its last violet. What are you gonna do? for trying to keep you from putting a bullet in your head. Celine Hinkle is gonna kill you, sissy. She's got a mean streak. You know, she spent two years in the reform school. I just wonder where they are. Usually there's a tribe of naked kids running around in the front yard. They went over to Ballinger to see Celine's sister. She had a hysterectomy. Celine ought to consider getting one of those for herself. Now, what are we gonna do about this dead goat? No, it's not. I can't sleep. I can't eat. All I do is think about you. No, GW. You are married to my daughter's best friend, and I am old enough to be your mother. Well, when I think about you, none of that matters. Well, it should. It goes against my Christian upbringing. <laughs> So does hanging out in these bars, but you seem to have taken to that just fine. Well, uh, uh, I think.
think I love you, Peggy Ingram. She has been out like a light since we got back this morning. Something has just not been right with her since birth. Stop that. You are awful. Guilty. For the last few months, she has been down in comatives like they were Tic Tacs. Now, I'm all for a few Valium every day, but I have never once lost consciousness before noon. That's when you know you've got a problem. Addictions are so sad, aren't they? Tragic. I'm gonna go get her purse. LaVonda, no, if she catches us. Station. No, darling, this is the Beehive, and your appointment is not until 4 o'clock on Friday. Hey, Juanita, long time. Who are you? No, Lita. No, Lita Nethercott. Oh, hi, Suge. I didn't recognize you with all that bird's nest on your head. Juanita, let me ask you something. Were you at Bubba's last night? Was it open? Did you see my husband there? Remind me who that would be. GW. G.W. Nethercott. Oh, sure. I know him. G.W. Nethercott. He left about midnight with Peggy Ingram. I got a real good picture of him kissing in the parking lot. I'll get you a copy when I get these developed. Smile. Ethel said you wanted to see me. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> I thought we might have a little drinky poo and visit for a while. <laughs> and then if you're a good boy, I just might honk on Bobo. Damn. I'll drink to that. baby how are you everything's pretty good how are you everything's fine what's wrong mama nothing just had a hard day's all we had a burglar last night at the house oh my god are you okay oh uh, yes yes nolita nethercott chased him off with her gun she would have shot him, too, only he zigzagged. Anyway, um, with your dad gone, I've decided to stay for a while with your Aunt Sissy. I think that's a good idea. You'll feel safe there. I love you, Ty. I love you, too, Mama. Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I I'm fine. I better go now. I love you. Call me tomorrow. Bye now. Hmm. <gasps> Your mama was my very best girlhood friend. We were uh, inseparable growing up. That is, until she started up with your daddy. 
He wouldn't let her have friends with him. Oh. <laughs> so uh, about a week before she died, she snuck over to my house with you on her hip <laughs> and baby in her tummy. I just couldn't believe what I saw. Her face. Oh, I was all black and blue. And uh, she asked me if I would take care of you in case a thing ever happened to her. And, um, and then something did happen. I remember it so well. I was, I was just three years old. And I woke up in the middle of the night. I went out and I found Mama lying on the floor blood everywhere. And I started crying and screaming and I tried to wake up Daddy. He was passed out on the couch and Daddy tried to tell me that she had a bad miscarriage. But... Well, you know that in turn, don't you? I didn't keep my promise to Mama because I was so scared of your Daddy. Everybody was. Well, now I'd like to make up for lost time. If you let me. No lead in Nethercott. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of G.W. and for killing the Hinkle's billy goat. I did kill that billy goat. I shot G.W., but he deserved it. Forensics say your gun was used to kill that goat. I killed that damn goat with Alita's gun. It was trespassing and uprooting my violence. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm going to arrest you too, sissy. Oh, we're crying out loud. Hold on one second. Ow. 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 OK, cuff me. Go kill her. You both have the right to remain silent. GW! GW, tell him it's okay that I shot you! Damn. Who's gonna clean this up? My mama. I need my boy. You can't escape this time from your reality. You're probably going to be here for a while. Trust me, this beats prison. I've had trials and tribulations, and I've had 
lost expectations I've been lulled down and put down and beat down and dismissed yes I have but lately I've been thinking sometimes when I've been drinking that just ain't no forgiveness is sticking life I'm living no I won't oh I want much more than this Those trailer trash blues Her sisters out there who understand me You hear me talking to you? Oh, they sisters They got ministers that won't let them be You listening to me? Seems your man's always picking a fight He says nothing that you do is right You take his abuse and what's your excuse? I love him, I love him, yeah, right. Maybe it's because you know you got nowhere else to go. Honeymoon's over, and guess who's toe in the line? Just keep wearing those rose colored glasses and everything. Hey, any way I can get up here today? Damn, hell, shit. Uh, life could not be sweeter. If I'm lying, I'm dying. You say with the love, because you know the love and beat crying. For better or worse, yeah, try as you might. There ain't no for better in sight. Next up on the Jessica Taylor Jones Show, Strippers for Jesus. Lasagna! I'm home! I'll be right there! So you're sad and brokenhearted. You feel bad, you feel discarded. And distressed and distraught and disgraced and discouraged as hell. Ring a bell. You hide your desperation with some made up explanation. Do you find your surprise? Even you you start to turn. Lord, child, I guess you're gullible as well. Lasagna, come on, hurry! You got those trailer trash blues when the kids are long gone. You got nothing, nothing at all. Except a husband who is hateful, ungrateful, and mean. Always making a scene. Maybe sometimes he'll throw you a bone Think it's better than being alone What's yours is now his And the worst of it is You still got some dreams of your own Stuck. Hmm. Well, I already know that one. Just forget all aspirations Your life is now on a frustrations of grief and woe and complications are many trials Bring it on home, girl. and tribulations when you've got a train of trash Exactly what you are, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Well, in the not too distant future, it'll be my extreme pleasure. In your dreams, you ass wipe. Shrivel up and die. I'm not gonna shrivel up and die. Under the house 
I'm not gonna shrivel up and down. I'm not gonna shrivel up and know my life and you don't you don't know what he was like what he come from his mean old daddy what he made out of himself 
He was the most. Oh, God, lasagna. And he chose me. Me. Everybody wanted him. But he chose me. Me. And when he come home last night, he loved on me. Hard. You don't know how hard that man can love. It ain't love, baby. Ain't love at all. J.D. does love me. I do know that he loves me, and he makes me happy. Then why are you looking for a purpose? I don't know. You just got me so riled up. Because I tell you the truth, baby. I tell you the truth. Oh, God, I am so mixed up right now. I get so confused and frustrated. I'm sorry. I know you're just trying to help. I'm sorry. I shouldn't lash out at you. And I am mad because I know you're right. I can't get that job at the Value Village. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just thinking maybe, maybe I can find myself a purpose. <laughs> and I am not happy. I am miserable. Oh, God. I hate him. I know it's not right to hate. It's such a harsh word, but I can't help it. Oh, but I love him. <laughs> and then I hate him. I love him, and then I hate him. I love him, I hate him. Well, there, I said it. I told you the truth. I already know the truth, baby. You don't even have to tell me. And you never have to lie to your buddy. Your old pal lasagna. Did you hear what I just said to you? Yes, thank you. Sometimes I hate me more than I hate him. I can't help it. And I get so confused and my soul is tormented. And lately, lately I've been having these terrible thoughts. Fantasies. Fantasies? What kind of fantasies? Girl, come on over here and tell me about these fantasies. <laughs> come on. You know, I'd invite you over, but my place is so teeny. The only way two people can fit inside is if they horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a liberal, Raylene. <laughs> I'll see you later, Willie. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Lord, have pity on my soul. Sitting, staring out the window Looking at a cold gray sky
Sunday morning at the New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. Mm. Child, it was a sea of hats. <laughs> <laughs> the sisters can wear themselves some hats on Easter Sunday morning. <laughs> now my baby sister had on the prettiest hat of all. Oh. Maybe it was that that hat framed her beautiful face and you know, it just seemed that hers was the prettiest. Or maybe I was just partial. Well, we sat together. And we sang, He arose and <laughs> at the cross. Mm -hmm. And my baby sister's favorite, Victory in Jesus. Mm. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. Mm. We sang Willie. We sang at the top of our lungs and we felt happy. <laughs> our people can sing, girl. <laughs> we show <laughs> enough to sing. Well, after we got through singing, during the middle of the sermon, I looked down and peeking out from under her long sleeve red Easter dress. She always wore these red dresses. I saw a bruise. So I reached down and I gently lifted the sleeve. And Lord have mercy with it. There were bruises everywhere. I knew. I knew exactly what was happening. So I vowed to the Lord Jesus that Easter Sunday morning in a pew at the New Hope Baptist Church. I was gonna go the next morning. I was gonna pack up my baby sister and she was gonna leave that poor excuse for a man. See, my sister was a crazy girl before she met him. She sang at the juke joint every Saturday night, <laughs> but never missed church once on a Sunday. But 
he made her quit singing. Made her quit coming to church, too. Except for maybe once or twice a year. And she had to beg him to do that. So, after church that Easter Sunday, I gave her my lasagna what for a servant. <laughs> I said, it's resurrection day, baby girl. Time for new beginnings. Time to be free. Happy. Yes. And you know what, Willie, my baby sister finally listened to me. Mm-hmm, and we did it. We packed up all her things, and we had ourselves planned. See, we knew she couldn't just leave him, because he'd come find her and bring her back. She had to drive back before. But if she told him she was leaving him, with all her things just packed up and sitting there, we knew he'd go crazy and store it in on her. But that was part of our plan. But timing was crucial. See, when she heard him drive up, she was supposed to call the police and then hang up and call me. The police would show up in the middle of the storm and arrest that bastard. And I would just swoop on in for the rescue. But she never did call the cops. Or me. I don't know what happened. Maybe she... Maybe she didn't hear him drive up. I don't know. But when they called me to identify her body, her beautiful face was so bashed in, we couldn't even give her a proper viewing. We sang victory in Jesus at her funeral. But there was victory in nobody willing. Just defeat. I lost my baby sister. <laughs> That was the last time I went to church. <laughs> oh. Because I thought if God had allowed this to happen, if that was his will, like Brother Johnson preached at my sister's funeral, I didn't want no part of it. I heard y'all fighting last night. And baby, then there was silence. Silence, Willie. Really. I was scared out of my ever loving mind. I wanted to come over here and check on you. But I was too scared to interfere, Willie. Really. Because the last time I interfered. Shit. Willie. Really? I am so sorry that I fucked your husband. <laughs> it can't be, it's too early. Oh God. Oh my God, it is, it's JD. What's he doing here so Shit. early? Yo. Go out the back door, hurry. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't gonna let that son of a bitch hurt you again. Please, lasagna, go! Ow! JD! <laughs> hey, JD! Oh! Ow! Oh! 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 Shit! Get up! Get up! Get the hell! Get the goddamn hell! Now! <laughs> What do we have here? 